Hello, uh, today I want to show you a, a great website that you may not be aware of. It's uh, actually put out by NOAA and it will help you get uh, rainfall amounts for uh, a given area. Uh, the website, as you can see up top, is um, it's uh, http colon slash slash hdsc uh, dot nws dot noaa dot gov slash hdsc uh, slash pf DS um, and what it is basically is you'll see it takes you to a map and on this map there are obviously the United States and outlying uh, territories and, uh, and islands as well and you've got different colors uh, if you take a look at the legend the dark blue areas is, is updated uh, data is available the light blue is uh, the data is being uh, updated and is in progress and then you get the white area that is still being um, processed and worked on but this is really great for determining rainfall amounts for a given area, especially in uh, the dark blue areas, um, and even in the other blue other areas where um, you're you're trying to find that technical paper um, or you know uh, other information. This site will provide you with a lot of data for rainfall frequencies and participation. So what I'm going to do is quickly just show you how um, how it works. And if I go to Virginia and click on a state you'll see that it takes me to a map, uh, another detailed map, and all the um, red dots are the, um, the climate stations. And what you can do is over here uh, to the right is you put in whether you want participation depth or whether you want precipitation uh, intensity. And then you can choose your units and you can choose uh, either a partial duration or an annual maximum. And then you come down here, you can choose a location. So for the state of Virginia, you can see that I can choose based on that particular station. Or if I happen to know the latitude and longitude of the area I'm looking for, I can enter that in. Or I can also click on the map. So let's say I click on this area right here where my site is. I happen to know that's where the site I'm working on is. It's going to ask me, if is this the latitude and longitude? Sure, I'm going to click OK. And then what it's going to do is it's going to go out and it's going to gather the information. It's going to give you a table. So in this table, you can see that for participation intensity estimates, it's giving me the, the number of years and the participation intensity um, intervals. So 5, 10, 15, 60 minute information. So now you can use this data, plug it into your calculators to create your IDF curves. <clears throat> um, let's go back to the state map and let's change that from intensity to participation depth and click on the same location and basically this will give us our, our rainfall amounts uh, again for this area. So you can see here we've got our, our intervals for our, our two year uh, storm for a 60 minute duration, 1.43, we can use that to plug in. If you scroll down a little bit further, you'll see there's some other data that's available, your upper and lower uh, bounds at 90% confidence interval. And then if you go down even further, you start to get into your graphs, okay? So you have all the, um, the information that you would need that you can print out but also put into your hydraulic tool whether it's a spreadsheet whether it's uh, stormcad pond pack hydroflow hydrographs whatever um, you know the storm storm flow it's in here you know it's the information's here so it's a really cool site um, you can see it shows your location and then even further shows you detailed more detailed information about where you picked okay and then you can actually get to other information there's uh, other maps available, there's uh, ortho um, quadrangles and DOQ, or DOQs, so some aerial imagery that you can access from here as well. Okay, So a lot of good information. Uh, if I go back up to the top and you want to verify this information, you can see that you've got more information. It's actually going to take you right to the NOAA Atlas 14 document. So when I click on that, it's actually going to launch another page and in this page it's going to give me uh, the PDF versions and you can see that now I can go to the duration that I'm looking for whether it's a one hour uh, or um, less than one hour storm and I can come down here and choose my state and depending on you know if I'm looking for technical paper 40 um, or NOAA Atlas 14 you can see you can get the information here based off your state so if you want to go back to, to using that information you can but um, just wanted to show you this little little tip great great resource for you to uh, to use for coming up with your rainfall um, information